fuck did I just watch? So, if you've been following uh, some recent news about the anime or have you, you just have maybe been uh, watching the anime series this season, you know about the little show called Redo of a Healer. <laughs> and if you've uh, been living under a rock or something, then let me... Let me educate you. So, Redo of a Healer is a hand... Oh, I'm so sorry. An anime series that started airing in this Winter 2021 anime season. And it's basically a fantasy show with heroes, you know. You have four heroes. Hero of uh, magic, sword, guns and hero of healing. You know, pretty standard stuff. And it turns out that the hero, hero of the healing is extremely overpowered. You know, that's everything. Everything standard, everything standard stuff, nothing, nothing too weird, right? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Uh, what makes this show unique from all the other fantasy or power, power trip shows is that, well, it's basically a hentai. Or even more specific, it's a rape, torture, traumatizing hentai. So yeah, basically uh, before this uh, show started airing, and even when it did start airing, like when the first episode came out, it blew up on the internet, and people, the manga or light novel readers were readers were basically ex, uh, how should I say it? They were basically describing it as the rape scene from Goblin Slayer episode one, the anime. Not gonna lie, not gonna, okay. So not gonna lie, the first episode didn't really seem like that. It, it kind of set up the characters, it made, you know, it made, it made, it made the bitch, the bitch, the bitch. It didn't really, like, show anything that was too mind-blowing. It, it, the only thing that it was like, it was because... Uh, I am mumbling, remember. The only thing that it kind of showed it was offensive or whatever, or it was based... Well, there was a full-on sex scene, and at the end of the episode, if I remember correctly, or something like that. But the first episode wasn't, like, all too, like, bad, I should say. But man, oh man, then came episode 2, and that bad, let me tell you guys, the episode 2 is... It's something... It's... It's... It's painful. It's painful. It's painful. So yeah, like after episode two, I'm like, okay, I understand why they're calling this show. But although I did want to make this video after watching the second episode, I also thought, okay, well, so basically, the first episode sets up the world, sets up the plot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sets up the plot, uh, kind of. Uh, what can I say? But then the second episode, the episode kind of starts going into some pretty deep fucked up shit, like, let me tell you. And then, like I said, after episode 2, it kind of seemed like, okay, is this gonna be it? Is this gonna, after this, turn into the generic, like, fantasy trope, but, like, with the revenge, because... I guess they're gonna be spoilers, okay, so... Spoilers, so spoilers, I do have to get into spoilers to explain why is it, but basically, if you want some, something fucked up to watch, to go watch Riddle of a Healer. If you hate yourself that much, just go and do it. So yeah, basically, in episode 2, uh, the main he hero dude uh, gets basically his revenge against the chick who uh, tortured him for past like years and then again because he reset time he again had to experience it for like six months or something crazy like that. So basically he got revenge on her and it kind of seemed like okay maybe that's gonna be the end of the torture, rapey, porny, hentai stuff but, um, so, but, but that's why I wanted to kind of like uh, see where episode 3 is going to go and so, you know, it, so I can see if it's really fucked up in the entire show and let me tell you it is, it is, because uh, how I'm feeling it's gonna go is basically we're going to be getting sense, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, the main healer hero dude actually broke free from their kind of tyranny in his past life, then he pretty much reset time, but in the reset time he has all his memories, so now he's pretty much going uh, to get his revenge on all the people that fucked him over, quite literally. <laughs> and boy, there's a lot of fun in this show. So yeah, after episode 2 it kind of seemed, okay, he got his revenge. Honestly, I'm gonna lie, I kind of feel like his revenge came a bit too quickly. I think the show would be so much more fucked up if uh, we actually got to kind of experience for a couple of episodes his like, like for the first two episodes, kind of a 
uh, how can I say, a montage of his terrible life. And then at the episode like 3 we get again uh, his revenge how he, but I understand why the author didn't do it because then it would be more or less a hentai. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, I want to see if episode 3 continues this trend of like trauma. And it does, it, it really does. So basically what's gonna happen is I guessing we're gonna get flashbacks to his torturous and treacherous life in the past and then get him overpowered in the present or future or whatever and kind of have those two paths collide and then in the future he's gonna exact his uh, exact his revenge on people who fucked him. So yeah, basically that's the dog a healer. And uh, honestly it's a, it, it's, it's a pretty interesting show. Why? Why you ask? Well, because uh, Ishizuku Reviewers that came out in the beginning of 2020 also had more or less a <laughs> sex scene and people exploded over it, Funimation dropped it and then there's this, this series that's... <laughs> well, it is pretty much a handy or what can I say, I, there's no going around it, it's pretty messed up, but what, what can I say? So it's pretty interesting how, like, I, I'm, I'm guessing the studio that or the company that's distributing knew it better than what it is, I don't know, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's so, it's so weird to me that this is like considered an anime because it's not an anime, it's, it's not, it's not an anime. Yeah, read over here. There's nothing much to say because when you take away the messed up stuff, it's pretty much a generic kind of fans show that you've seen countless of times. But because of those elements, it I guess it's interesting because you know when you have, you watch a messed up torture porn a horror movie because you want to see something gruesome. Well, that that's this. Although I'm not gonna lie, some scenes. That's why I don't want to really say what happens because some scenes really are genuinely like hard to watch and gut wrenching. Not gonna lie. Also, another thing that's kind of interesting is that because those characters did like I don't I, I was not gonna. What's the main character's name? I just finished watching episode three. What the? Basically, like the characters that done that have done terrible things to the main character are like straight up evil. Like no going around it. But then in his next life, he's like. Uh, by the way, that's why it's called the redo of a healer. But yeah, in, in his next life, it's he's pretty much doing evil shit to them. But since they done evil shit to him, you can't. It's like this circle of bad villains. So basically, it's basically like what they. And the, I don't, it's 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 kind of it's kind of weird because. You don't really like root for any of them. Like you just want this show exists to like feed uh, that kind of I don't know a beautiful car crash. Just that this show is not beautiful at all. It's just a terrible, terrible car crash. But uh, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I just wanted to make a video about it. It's so weird to like grasp your thoughts around the show because again, it's so generic, but it has that. Can I say it a unique vibe for an anime? I don't know. So yeah, if, if you're in, yeah, you know, can, can I say in the mood for some fucked up shit? No, I cannot. If you want to see something messed up in anime form, give this a watch. I don't know. So yeah, but these, these are basically my thoughts on Rido of a Healer. Uh, so three episodes that came out. I, I couldn't do a one minute introduction on this show because I mean there's so much more to say than one minute. But yeah, basically Redo of a Healer, a hentai disguised as an anime, and also if you want to get traumatized, especially especially if you're quite sensitive to these topics, to topics, oh well, yeah, to like rape and all of that and torture. Uh, I don't know, it's it might be quite traumatizing, and it's it. I mean at the end of the day, it's an anime. So it's not as traumatizing as some movies, but still, I, I, it, it is unsettling to watch. Like, there's no going around that. So yeah, basically, read of a healer. If if you haven't checked it out, don't. Surprisingly, the the light novel or the manga, I believe the light novel is quite popular in Japan. So the fuck is Japan. So I don't know. I don't know how if this story is gonna become more unique or whatever. It, I'm not gonna lie. I do see some elements. It's kind of it's kind of like Shield Hero. If Shield Hero suffered a 
thousand million times more and pretty much was a thousand million times more of a asshole or not well, not an asshole but like he didn't care he, like he, he was like fuck everything <laughs> like that i don't know i'm not gonna i'm interested to see how the show will go i mean that's why i'm watching the show i guess but it's yeah it's messed up so yeah I feel like this video was so random, but I don't care. I had to get my thoughts out somewhere. <laughs> That's why I have this YouTube channel, right, right, right? But yeah, this is also kind of my first not recommendation to watch the show. I mean, if you want to watch it, watch it. I don't really recommend it because it's... Yeah. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, uh, I don't know what to plug. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, my Patreon. So or actually my Patri Patreon one singular you can you can have this uh, uh, uh this well actually you can have this spot in the oh, fuck me enjoy it while you can lodor because this this is the the space you're, you're currently you're the one occupying the space immortalizing your name in one of my videos so, yeah but yeah thank you so much like for supporting my channel like both literally and behind the scenes thank you so much also, yeah, um, if you want to check out my Patreon, it's in the description down below, I, I recently uh, made it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video, taking the time to like, to see me rambling on about the hentai. <laughs> and yeah, like, all I can say is, see you in another video. Stay strong.